Sitting in Johnson's garage, we're gonna scrap this piece of shit. It's the big day. We're getting rid of the Moldsmobile. Now for those of you who are new to this channel, me and my cousin Adam, who you'll see in a little bit in this video, I uh, bought this car for really cheap, got it for a couple hundred bucks, and the hope was um, it wouldn't start because of the fuel pump was bad on it. And I went in, did some work on it, got the fuel pump, I, I put a new fuel pump in it and had to fix some electrical problems that were with that were happening with the pump so it's got it gets fuel now but we ran into the problem that it uh, it skipped its timing and we started getting into that trying to fix the timing but there's the crankshaft bolt will not budge we've tried jamming the engine and using a, a breaker bar and do and, and putting the big impact on it I mean, I have a three-quarter drive impact, and it would not budge that bolt. 140 PSI would not budge it. Uh, let's see, what else did we try? We, we um, put a breaker bar on the crankshaft, and then used the starter to try and break it free. Mm -mm. Didn't do it. In fact, you know what? All it would do is lift the car. So, um, it's a flop. And even then, there's a lot of things that don't work. The windows don't roll up and down properly they're something something electrical is wrong with them they're if they do move they're very slow power locks don't work uh, it's got lenses that are damaged and not from me bumping into it but <laughs> they've been like that beforehand uh, it's just it's, yeah it's a bad bad decision I almost couldn't find these and I realized that um, I have a I have a toolbox, so God damn it. Who's the fucker that put this on? Bed trailer runs a two and five sixteenths ball, and then all the other trailers that I've used, like the tow dolly, or if we got a U-Haul trailer, which hopefully I'll never have to do again. Um, those run that blasted uh, two-inch Dumahiki. Explorer is getting worse and worse. It just it ticks all the time now. Not mine. Mine does it in the morning when it's cold, and then after it warms up, it's fine. But theirs, man, that does it all the time. You haul guys, like yeah, I've got that on there pretty good. I ain't coming off. I got it off. Okay, we'll keep this in the bed of the truck. Actually, I'll probably put it in my toolbox. So I've had it where they do come loose, and it's all flopping around, and you have no means of tightening it up. It's not safe. So when I get new stingers, really torque them down. 
I was thinking about welding them in, but I swapped them out between the Explorer and the truck, and I sometimes I'd flip them around, so. Yeah. All right, we should be ready to go. What you cutting out of there, Adam? Uh, fuses that you said were too hard. Oh, well, I mean, that one's bolted down. Well, or you it's could just not bolted it. down. It's not bolted down. Not anymore. <laughs> well, if you would have just... Excuse me, Mr. Snoops, do you? I put it in the bicycle. Okay. Did you get the fuse holder? Yes. Oops. <laughs> Adam, you could drop these somewhere. Oh, shit. Okay. Relays for some skinny wire for a relay. There's no place like fuses. There's no place like fuses. And, and then you can use that That's bolt old. cutter on the battery there. And Why would I do that? Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> Cut the positive first. Are, are you positive? Yes. Meh. Well, these GM weather pack connectors, we might want those. No, go back further. Snip. <laughs> Like, yeah, like right back, right where your hand is. Yeah, there we go. That we have plenty of meat to work with. Ah, <laughs> what? That worked. <laughs> did it? Did it zap? No. Zap Brent again. <laughs> You're like, God damn it! I was gonna catch that. Meanwhile. I'm just, like, just, I'm just kidding. Just cut it right there. I know. I, it's. I got some problems here. Okay. Oh yeah. Here we go. And now you can grab said battery. The Jimmy insists we keep him. Well, you paid like thirty bucks for it. Twenty-four dollars. Oh wait, hang on. Snip it in. Snip it in. Oh, I'm not even in the shot. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, it looks like my head's getting chopped off. Uh, it looks like barely. Watch Jimmy act like an ass. Move it over a little bit. Hold on. I can't do it like this. Just get me in the center. I know how to do this. Is I took media study. Do I have headroom? Of course. 
I, I took TV production. I know I this know. shit. I'm just making sure. He's like, he can't operate a camera. What a little wrench. Okay, we're just rolling here. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're getting down that yeah. fucking river, you piece of shit! <laughs> on time? I mean strap time? Oh, well, you strap it down so fast. Go get some water.
wanna do a train? No. Buddy, you got that comments in there? Uh-huh. I saw that down here. I love it. I love it. Me Why too. you put that big bad air power stroke in there? That's for a train, Mark. Uh, you didn't this, want that bullshit in your uh, truck. This, <laughs> no. Uh, no, man, you get it, they get your case so you can go with that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my third one. Yeah? I can't worry about it. I just buy it for the hell of it. I got to see a bigger cab. I got what I really want. The 06. I yeah. bought it brand new. I got 38 on it. It's a motherfucker. I got the edge in it. This, this is it. Nice. <laughs> this is it. But this is nice, man. I like this. Yeah. First truck I've had. Are you kidding me? Nope. You put this common in there? You bought it like uh, No, I put it in. There you go. We also Straight. did, we did an 86 crew cab that I had. We put a 4BT okay. in it. Okay. It was boosted uh, 30 the, pounds. I did the straight axle and everything on it. Really? Well, I've got automatic, but I also manual. Man, five speed. Okay. Pull like hell. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, bud. Oh, thanks. Alright, I don't know what this town meant to run. Oh, I'm trying to write. I think you're going to have to go the scale the other way. I know, I'm going to go that way and go around. You're going to jump off this right here. I don't care, I don't give a shit. Fifty-seven sixty. What is that? Fifty-seven forty. Okay. You got that filled out? Yeah, I'm good. That's gonna go up there. We lost, a, we lost what? 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. We should stick to trucks. Trucks. And then, yeah. I still the trucks, guys. We're sticking to trucks. We learned our lesson. No cars. Oh well. Alright, what now? You gotta go home or are we? we are you kidding me? <laughs> you don't want to go home. I don't need to do anything. Get a little dead. Well, guys, the Schmoltzmobile is gone. Yeah, you could say it was painstaking. <laughs> I'm, I am really sad. But we, uh, you know, flipping cars is good, but there's also there's every single car you get. There's always a calculated risk of doing it. Yeah. Car, truck, doesn't matter what it is. There's always some kind of appearance of, of risk you, you don't see, foresee. We didn't foresee we could do so. We weren't equipped to handle that thing. We, I mean, we tried the starter in a breaker bar and it lifted the car off the floor. Right? We were not expecting that at all. Yeah. We were like, all right, this should be our last resort and it should pop it right free. I have a feeling whoever had it before us, the old owner had the shop do some work to it and I think they monkeyed shit up when they were playing. 